My name is Emily and I'm here to share my story about my spinal CSF leak. Looking back, my journey with my CSF leak really started when I did a one month trial of CrossFit. Um, I was experiencing on the drive home these pounding intense headaches and some uh, blurred vision, but by the time I got done with my morning routine um, and got to work, I felt okay. It wasn't until a couple of years later when I really started to feel the effects again. At that time, I began a weightlifting program. I really began experiencing more and more headaches. So I finally went to see my family doctor when the headaches really started to affect my daily life. I was noticing that the headaches got much better when I laid down. So I was being treated for migraines and the treatments really weren't helping. I was still having to lay down in order to get any relief from the headaches. Eventually, I had a friend teach a class at the local YMCA that I belonged to and I really wanted to take it. I was really excited about it. It was a special class. So I decided to go take this um, hour-long cycling class. On the drive home, I felt as bad as I've maybe felt in my life, um, the most severe headache I've ever had. And I just laid there in terrible pain. That was when I knew that I had to go see the doctor and something far worse than migraines was causing this problem. That incident alarmed her enough that she sent me for an MRI. And at that time, they saw a pituitary tumor. I went to the endocrinologist and they did some imaging and talked to me about my symptoms and pretty quickly said, it does look like you have a pituitary tumor, but that is not what's causing these headaches. They referred me then to a neurologist, but the neurologist pretty quickly said, this positional headache seems like it's consistent with a spinal CSF leak. As part of my treatment, the first step was to do a blood patch in order to try to stop the leak. I did not see any relief from that. About a month and a half later, we tried another blood patch, which was also unsuccessful. The next step in the treatment was surgery, and that was a scary proposition. The night before the surgery, I talked with my husband and said, I'm not sure this makes sense for me. I'm really not that bad off. I can still function, I can still work. And he said, you haven't exercised in months. You can't go out with your friends anymore. You can't go to your kids' games and activities sometimes. You aren't living the way you want to be living. You need to try this because this is the only thing that will give you a shot at getting your old life back. So I went ahead with the surgery and I never experienced low pressure again. I'm as close to 100% as I need to be. I am able to run. I'm able to ride my bike with my kids. I've got so much ahead of me and I am grateful for every minute that I get.